Hello there, this is the part 7 of the .NET Core Microsoft service with uh, ABP. In this video, we are going to see how to set up the YARP and uh, tie for our microservice. Let's get started. As always, I have uh, created the blog post and then uh, the blog post has all the instructions. So the first step uh, is to install the tie. To install, you have to run the .NET uh, tool command and mention the version. This is the latest version. And once you installed it, um, you can uh, run this tie in it dash dash force to install or initiate the tie. Uh, we can uh, open the terminal and then just run this command. This will create a file called tie.yaml. So we can add that file to the solution. So I will go to add existing item and we have our tie.yaml and we have our um, tie.yaml available for us right now. So what we have here is uh, the gateway administration and the test of the uh, administration. So every project which can be run is directed by tie and then it creates a uh, service namespace. Yeah, we can use this, but uh, when you run uh, this right now, um, the tie will create random ports for each and every application and start to run it. We don't want that, we want uh, specified ports. And I have created a sample tie config for you uh, here. So uh, you can replace that with the generated one. Okay, so uh, here I have removed a bunch of stuff. So uh, I have removed all the tests, I have removed the DB migrator and I have added um, administration, identity service, SAS, um, identity server, and gateway. We didn't configure identity server yet, but it's okay. We can make sure it's building. There is no build errors, and then still try to run it. And we have already configured administration service, identity service, and SAS service. Um, if you are here um, without seeing the previous videos, please go and check out these uh, videos, um, and then you will uh, understand how to set up this service. Okay, but there is another problem here. I have mentioned the port as 7001 for the administration service, but we have some random ports in administration service. So the first step is to fix these port numbers. Um, so how do you fix these port numbers? So just go to the host project and you just click on this launch setup. So this file inside the properties folder. So this is where we can specify the port number. So when you click on it, you see this is where the port numbers are specified. For the identity service, I have mentioned the port number as 7001. Not just here, when you look at the DB migration, uh, we have mentioned the port for the administration service as 7001. So uh, we have already seeded this uh, for the clients. So it's better we change uh, this right now. So go to the launch settings, change the port number as 7001 and 7001 and change the name to host. Okay. Now we have uh, fixed the uh, port for administration service. Let's change it for identity service. So the identity service has the port number of 7002. Let's close the administration, open the identity service, and then inside the identity service, there is launch settings. Okay, we have updated the identity service. The next is the SaaS service. Let's go to the SaaS service. We have, uh, we will update the SaaS service here. Okay, we have updated all the SaaS service. I will also change the name to host, not the demo app, name here, hosts. Okay, now um, all the services are done. Now it's time to change the port for the identity server. So the identity server is going to have the port of 7000 uh, properties. And okay, identity server also has some um, port. So identity server has a problem with dependencies. As of now, we just make sure this is just building. So remove all the dependency errors and yeah, remove this as well, just to make sure it runs. Uh, we will come back and fix it. Okay, now let's see if we can build this project. Nope. Yes, this uh, common.props is not available. Yes, 
the identities are worth those. Now let's go back and then the final one is the gateway. The gateway has the port number of 7500. So let's copy that, go to gateway, same thing, go to launch settings, change the port number and I will remove the HTTP. Um, actually it doesn't matter, the HTTP can be 5000, so we only care about HTTPS. Uh, yes, that's pretty much it. So uh, we have our um, tie and are ready to run so let's see what happens okay the tie is starting and we should be able to see the tie dashboard at localhost 8000 yes we have our uh, identity server gateway administration service identity service and sas service running so let's go and check out these things one by one so i have opened everything except the identity server identity server because we have not set up the identity server so we can see the backer endpoint for these um, administration services working let's try to do the request yes the application configuration is working and let's do the same for the identity service yes that's also working and for the SaaS service okay all the three services are working without any problem and we get a hello world from the gateway yeah let's stop this okay the tie has stopped and now let's just go back to the article and then see what we can do about yeah so we just did this and then everything works so the next step is to configure our reverse proxy so let's copy this package reference and then let's go back to the gateway and we need an item group let's add an item group and add a package this is key version 1.0 of the reverse proxy yarp uh is it working yes and if you come here it's just as a hello world project and we can replace the hello world with Oops very simple uh, reverse proxy configuration. So what we are saying is add the reverse proxy, but load the configuration from the reverse proxy section in the app settings, which is currently empty, but uh, we can update that. And we are saying map the proxy and run. Mm, very simple. And the next step is where we are actually mentioning the uh, proxies. So we will come here and then replace this. So these are the proxy configurations. So the reverse proxy has a route which is main and that catches everything so that's it's a cluster id of main and the identity server will have a cluster of identity and then it matches the path of slash api slash identity and for account it's slash api slash account and for sas it's api slash multi-tenants and when you come up for the cluster the main goes to the administration service. Identity goes to the identity service. Account goes to the identity service. SAS goes to SAS service. So that's why it's better to keep some consistent port numbers. So if you create a new service, add a new um, section here, put your service name, and then put your SAS, put your new service address here. And then YARP will just start redirecting. Before, yeah, you also have to put the prefix here for the match. Uh, maybe it's like API slash count or API slash issues or API slash projects, things like that. Okay, so this is our Rios proxy. And we go back and let's do the tie watch, tie run watch again. So this time when we do the requests, it should properly redirect. Okay, the tie is starting. Can go back and then refresh. So if you come back to uh, 7500, this is our uh, gateway. Now we should go to administration service. Yes. So our um, reverse proxy is working. Um, the next step uh, for our microservice is to make sure this authorization part uh, is working. For the authorization to work, we need identity server run. So the next step is to get the identity server up and running and make sure this authorization is working. So we right now have the identity server running, but it will not work because we didn't configure. It doesn't know where to look for and it's running in the port 7000. So yeah, it, it shows login, but you will definitely 
will not be able to log in because there is no way you can figure out where the account uh where the account services so things like that yeah in the next video we will look at how to fix those things and then get the identity server running then we can actually do authentication and authorization from the services we created and that's pretty much it for this video uh if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and then uh, subscribe to the channel for uh more videos on this uh, microservice that's it from me um see you in another video bye bye